Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have an awesome video for you guys today. I had a lot of people ask me about my winged eyeliner, how do I do it? Sometimes I can't do it because of my eye shape or whatnot, so I just wanted, just wanted to go over um, really quick what I do and what helps me to create that perfect winged eyeliner. I know that everyone has a different eye shape and I've encountered so many of my clients that have different eye shapes and there are some that you honestly just cannot do a wing eyeliner because of their eye shape or because they're probably they have probably have really hooded eyes and sometimes when you have a lot of skin right in this area where you want to create a wing liner um, it just there's no way of doing it and um, if you do somehow make it it might look a little too crazy or you just don't have enough room so my advice to you who if you have this issue is to smoke it out don't do a winged eyeliner like this one where it's really harsh but instead grab a black eyeshadow or a dark dark brown eyeshadow and then create that shape sort of and that way you at least still have somewhat of a winged eyeliner so I hope that helps now let's just quickly move on to the products that I used to create my winged eyeliner. I was using the Maybelline Eye Studio Jaw Liner, <clears throat> but I wanted something of a better quality and something that was really, really pigmented. So I went to, for anyone who lives in Chicago area, I went to the Woodfield Mall and um, I went into Sephora, actually I went to MAC first because I, I thought their gel liner was like off the chain, like the best. I tried it and I was like, mm -mm, it doesn't, it just didn't um, meet my expectations. So I went on Hunt and I went to Sephora and there, that's where I found Tarte. I purchased it with my own money, people. <laughs> I went to Tarte. And um, I picked up their um, their brush as well. So this thing is amazing, and it dries matte, as you can see on my eye. So I'm just gonna show you guys. I just grabbed like very little. I'm gonna show you guys how pigmented this thing is. It's I don't have a really great camera, so you guys won't be able to see it that well, but. It was way better than all of the eyeliners that I tried. I tried MAC, I tried Bobbi Brown, I tried the Sephora brand, um, I tried Clinique, and then I tried Tarte. And my heart felt all sorts of emotions <laughs> when I tried this thing. It's really nice. So a little goes a long way with this product. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye. All right, the products that I'll be using is by Tarte and it's the Clay Pot Amazonian Clay with their brush as well. So I am going to start by pulling the skin of my eyelid just a little bit um, towards the back end so you're going to pull it upwards and it's going to feel like you're um, lifting your lid a little bit. And I'm going to start applying that liner in the middle of my eyeliner. I never start from the tear ducts because you'll end up with a really thick liner and you want it to look thin in the beginning and then create that thickness towards the end. So as you can see, see here, I'm building it up little by little. I'm not making a line right away. I'm just adding little dashes here and there. And when I get to that point right there, I'm going to map the winged liner. So I'm going to map it. I'm not going to connect it yet. I'm just going to create a line there. And then I'm going to fill that line in to make sure that it's the right shape that I want and that it looks nice too. So I'm just cleaning it up here and I'm just filling it in. Um, it's pretty easy this way. I find it really easy for my eye shape. But um, once you practice more, you'll see what you're comfortable with for your eye shape. So I finished filling all the that half side already. And I'm going to start 
creating the line from the beginning of my eye. So as you can see, I'm working, I guess, backwards. <laughs> so I'm going, I'm continuing to fill that in until I get to the tear ducts. That way I make sure that the line is not really thick in the beginning. And that's it guys, it's really, really, really easy. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That is how I know if you guys like these sorts of videos. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you guys can stay updated with everything that I am creating for you guys. And if you guys have any questions about anything that's beauty related or anything really, um, please ask away and I will try to answer all your questions and make all those videos that you guys want. And Again, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for subscribing. It means so much to me. And I will continue to try to um, put a smile on everyone's face. All right. Thank you so much. God bless. And until next time. Bye.